YouTube, my luck shoppers, welcome back. It is Dr. Yvette with Events Route, and I wanted to bring you a video to discuss the kitten heel. Are kitten heels still in style? So I watched a video recently, I think it is Simply Cura, who talked about the kitten heel, and I am in total agreement that kitten heels are very much in style. It just depends on how you put the outfit together. So if this is something that you're interested in, or if you just wanna see the kitten heels that I have in my wardrobe, stay tuned. So the kitten heel, let's see what we are talking about. So I have my tape measure here. And of course, you know how I do, I have all of my shoes, um, my luxury shoes in the container store boxes um, just to protect them because I don't like how ununiform different shoe boxes, how they look in your closet. So instead of having that look, uh, my type A personality like to get the clear shoe boxes from the container store. The container store so you know how i do i have to have the uniformity in my closet so my lubriton boxes i throw out my valentino boxes i throw out in any other shoe box that's not chanel or hermes or gucci because when you resell them on the resale market um it's good to let them know that you have the shoe box and the dust bags but for my lubritons um I don't ever resell them. I just give them to Goodwill when I'm done with them. And so, and I haven't bought any more Christian Louverton since, uh, I'll look at the receipt with this and I'll tell you how long it's been because I'm just, you know, kind of past um, the red bottom unless he brings out something that is very, very nice. But when I was um, in my early 40s, late 30s, early 40s, having a red bottom was the thing. <laughs> it was the way that um, the professional women that were into luxury kind of stamped ourselves, ooh, we can afford red bottoms. But that's that's for another video. <laughs> Let me take off my glasses too so you're not looking at that green light in my eyewear. So when I talk about having the kitten heel, it is something that you have in your wardrobe. One, because the kitten heel is comfortable, but also it can be very stylish depending on what you are wearing it with. For me, with my kitten heels, I only buy them in point, pointy toe. And so what I have here is a pair of Christian Louboutins that I have not worn because I started purchasing kitten heels when I realized that I had injured my back and I needed to lower my heels some. So I started purposely looking for kitten heels. So I'm gonna show you how low this heel is. So when I say kitten heel, I'm talking about this type of heel, a really short, tiny heel. So let's measure how much height we have in inches. So for me, this kitten heel is right at three inches, three and a half, three and a third inches high. So when I say kitten heel, three and a third inches high. But when I purchased these, these I got these back when Christian Louboutin got into making nude shoes for brown girls. And instead of having that first pair of socates and lower in that light tan nude, I purchased these because these were considered nude <laughs> for the brown skin girl. So when these became available in Neiman Marcus, I purchased them. And so what I will say about these is I have not worn them yet because it is a nude heel for my skin tone. It is a nude kitten heel that I can wear without pantyhose because that's how close it is to my skin, but also how to style this nude kitten heel. So as you can see, I have not worn them yet because I plan to wear them when I have on a article of clothing 
and I'm not real sure what color shoe I should go with because I do have a very colorful shoe collection. And so by having a colorful shoe collection, I almost always have a pair of pumps that I can wear with whatever that outfit is. And so I bought these to have them on reserve when I wear an outfit and I just don't know what color shoe to wear. Then I am going to wear this nude kitten heel. But I also bought them because I'm maturing and I just cannot have on that stiletto pump even at a party for hours. I'm just not willing to do it. So this is an alternative. So I have this, these Louboutins that I haven't worn in a kitten heel. We just looked at these. These are three uh, and a third inches high. Okay, so let me pull another pair. In fact, let me tell you, the receipt is still in here. The receipt is in the box. And so is the um, heel replacements that my cobbler will get when I you know, wear down the heel a little bit and I need to replace them. So I bought this pair in Tyson's Galleria, Neiman Marcus and McLean. And I bought these June 21st of 2020. Um, so during the pandemic, I was shopping and these were only $525. So I know that the price has increased over time, but that's how much I got them for back then. Okay, so let's look at another pair of Louboutin Kitten Heels. That's how I do it, the clear box. Um, and I'm going to uh, pop up a few pictures of how I am going to style the Kitten Heel because that's what's most important. When you are going to wear a shoe, that is a low heel, you have got to style it correctly. And one of the things that I think I'm going to wear these kitten heels with, again, have not worn them, but remember I was on a quest to find a lot of kitten heels because I had injured my back and I knew I needed to lower my heel and I wanted to make sure that I had stylish, good looking lower heels. And so when I bought these, I had that in mind, but also I'm gonna pop up a picture of how I plan to um, style these and what I want to wear them with. Because um, a kitten heel makes all of the difference in how that outfit comes together. And so this is the heel. And then let's just take this tape measure and see how high this heel is. Oh, this is very low. This is a two and a half inch. Hopefully you can see that. But this is a two and a half inch kitten heel. So I plan, and I'm thinking really hard about it. I either plan to wear this with, um, because they are black patent leather. And again, I said um, kitten heels look best to me in a pointy toe. Um, so I think I plan to wear this with a pair of pencil leg pants, cigarette pants, kind of the Audrey Hepburn look. Um, if you have watched previous videos, then you saw me purchase the black St. John piece that had uh, the cigarette pants and the crop top that go with it. And so I think I'm going to wear uh, these kitten heels with those cigarette pants or um, some type of long flowy maxi skirt because I think you put the length on the leg and then the heel doesn't look so low. And so catch that again. You put the length on the legs or whatever you're wearing on your legs has to be long, no mini skirts. So a long maxi skirt, um, a long pleated skirt, a long slip skirt, a long faux leather skirt, and a pointy toe kitten heel, or a pair of cigarette pants. Not wide leg, because if you wear wide leg pants with a kitten heel, it may look a little funny if that wide leg pant doesn't hit you right at the ankle bone. So that makes a difference. So 
I'll keep, I'll pop up a picture of how I style these, but I haven't worn these either. And let me see how much I paid for them and let's see how long I've had them because I've been planning to wear my heel for a very long time. Okay, so I bought these Neiman Marcus North Park. So I was in Dallas, must have been home visiting family. And I bought these, look at that date. 2019 so I have had these <laughs> for a minute and I haven't worn them but again I was pre-planning for as I mature and I need to lower my heel I need to start to purchase my product now so I have those so let's talk about my mid-range heels and so these are heels um, that I have worn um, again they're in their boxes um, this is kind of a Christian Louberton thing <laughs> right now. And so you've seen these before. Um, these are a pair of my favorite Louberton's. I love the, um, the creativity of it and the sexiness of it, you know, with the spike, the pointy toe. Um, but again, that heel is not too high. That's a mid-level heel for me. Um, and again, I love a pointy toe um, pump heel, whether it is Louboutin or who. So, oh, this is right at three and a half. So for me, a mid-level pump that I can be comfortable in um, is coming in at a three and a half. Like I can wear these and I can have these on um, one for an, enchi an entire church service <laughs> where I'm standing up, sitting down, standing up. So I can have these on. Um, I wouldn't lecture in them because that's me standing sort of in the same spot. So putting the pressure on my toes, I wouldn't do that. In fact, that's what this is because my right foot is larger than my left foot. Sometimes a shoe will be too big on my left and it'll fit just right on my right or it may be a little snug. And so I use these, these are a forte. And it is for me. And it is a high heel shoe stretcher. And so this little device right here slides up and down and it widens and stretches the shoe as you press it outward. So I keep one of these in um, this shoe uh, just because it keeps it nice and stretched for my right foot. And this shoe is leather, so it'll stretch really nicely. So, mid-size heel coming in at three and a half. Love these, pointy toe. Um, another mid-range heel. Again, sticking with this red bottom theme we got going on is another pair of um, Pagalo red bottoms and in my favorite color navy blue when I saw these I just had to have them my closet is full of navy so this was a no-brainer I didn't even have to question why I needed these these go with so much but let's see where this mid-size mid-size heel is coming in at for me um I think this too may be three and a half yes so if we look at that again three and a half on that mid-size heel. And so I love these, again, pointy toe, which is my favorite style of pump heel to wear, pointy toe. And if you notice, I have worn these red bottoms for, let's see if I got the receipt, for some time. And I only say my receipt, guys, because when I sell them, I have some things at the real world right now that are being um, sold. I like to have the box. I like to have the original receipt because it helps the real real with authentication. It helps people when they're purchasing to know that it is a real product. Um, it's authentic. And so it looks like I bought these at Neiman Marcus Fort Worth um, from Clay Mendoza, which is a very good sales guy. So if you're ever in Fort Worth, Texas and you need a salesperson at Neiman's, you need to stop through and see Clay Mendoza. He is a wonderful person. In fact, me and my cousin consider him friend, a friend to date because um, he we've shopped with him for years. But these were 
um, $6.75. And I bought them, looks like this receipt says 326 of 2018. So I've had these for a while now. Um, and they are in really good condition. That's how it is when you are buying luxury things and you take care of it. You can keep it in mint condition. Now, let me tell you what I have done. My cobbler has not replaced the bottom on these. What I did was um, the place, Soul Galore, also sell the bottoms that's, uh, that you can protect your red bottoms with. It's almost like a sandpaper. And um, it's very tacky and you just um, cut out the shape of your shoe when they send it to you and then it just sticks on the bottom. But I like this because, let me get in closer to see if you can see that. I kind of messed up so I had to paste another piece on the end. But it's kind of um, scratchy or, well, maybe I shouldn't say scratchy, but sandpaper-like. And so it really gives you a good grip when you're walking and you have this on the bottom. And so um, if you look up Soul Galore, you can actually find these. I forgot what they called it, but it's almost like putting sandpaper on the bottom of the shoe. And because it's clear, you see the red bottom. What that is, is the dirt from the ground that is protecting me from um, making the red paint come off. So that was a good deal. And, and it's probably been on there since what, 2018, because that's when I bought these and I bought it right away. And then I played around with painting the bottom of my black pair. Um, and so, oh, I've had it uh, for some time, but these are 38 and a half and it's the mid range heel and I love it. Three and a half inches. Okay, so now let's talk about these high, high heels. <laughs> so, as you know, we love the red bottom. You can see that. In fact, I should have called this video my Christian Louboutin collection because anything over three, we agreed it's a collection. And so I would have had way more than three pair. But your girl stole the so case. When I was in my 40s, it worked. Before I injured my back, it worked. The so Kate makes your legs look so good. You look so sexy in your pencil skirt and your outfit. And then one day I said, mm -mm. <laughs> I can't do it. I will not do it. I'm maturing. I'm aging like fine wine. I am not wearing the so Kate. So if any of you know Christian Louberton, just let him know to make a few more kitten heels and a few more mid-size pumps that are uh, traditional in style because we like the Louboutins, we do, and we love that red bottom accent, but we can't go as high as the Socate. Okay, you know what? I take that back because I have a friend, um, Reverend Bellamy, and she is in her 80s and she still wears stilettos. In fact, if I see her before this video goes live, I'm going to take a picture with her and I'm gonna show you pictures of her feet still wearing stilettos. So let me speak for myself. Christian Louboutin, if anybody gets this to him, let him know that Yvette needs a mid-size heel that I can wear that is still very traditional and stylish, and I am purchasing. Okay, so let's move on to the higher heel. So because I got rid of all, I loved, I had a pair of pink um, so case, I had the denim so case and loved them, but can't do it. So the heel that I did keep uh, in a very high heel is my Valentino's, um, any Ferragamos, because my, Ferragam my Ferragamo collection, I have kept it intact just because I love Ferragam Ferragamo. It is my favorite shoe brand. And so I kept all of my Ferragamos um, and then my Valentino's, is there anything else I have kept that was a very high heel? I don't know, because I'm not in my closet. I probably should have filmed this in my closet, but um, because I'm not in my closet, I can't tell you what other brand, luxury brand I have kept. But again, everything is stored the same way. Container box, these look dusty on camera. Um, but I kept this pair of Valentino. I kept them because when I saw these in the Nemo Marcus magazine, I was like, mm-hmm, I'm getting those. Those are beautiful. 
and they can be worn with so much because the studs that are all over them are multicolored. And I fell in love with this shoe. So when I went in store, they didn't have a 38 and a half. And the sales associate, I got these, I said Nemo's, but I got these from Saks. And when I saw them in the lookbook, but I was like, I am getting that shoe. And so the sales associate there, Tyson's Gallery, I believe. Yes, I'm so good. I kept the receipt. Saks Fifth Avenue, the sales associate said, try it because they've been running big. So I tried a 37 and a half and they worked. But I kept these because they are so beautiful. You know, that tan new color and then all of the studs in multicolor. So I could wear this with um, a mint green, a periwinkle, um, burgundy, a deep red, yellow, pink, um, electric blue. I could wear these with so many colors because of the studs that Valentino put on them. And I love them. Let's see, I got them in sacks. Let's see how long I've had them. I bought these in June of 2018. The price is fading on the receipt, so I can't see. It looks like I bought something else, a pair of mules, too, that was $278. But I can't see how much these were. Look like I bought several things. Look like I paid. Um, look like I paid. Ooh. Okay. Here it is on this receipt. Valentino shoes. Look like I paid five hundred and seventy-four dollars for them. Looks like they were. I got twenty-five percent off whatever the original price was. So that was a good deal at Sax for Valentino. So that was that's that's great. And so I have these, and of course, here are the heel replacements that come in the Valentino box. I keep all that. And so let's see what this heel is coming in at. This is the highest heel that I have in my closet right now. So let's see what this one's coming in at. Okay, so we got a four inch heel. This is as high as I'm going, four inches, guys. And even with these, I am definitely taking these off when I wear them and changing into a flat. <laughs> I probably can make it uh, at a function where I'm walking in and then I'm going to sit down, but never something that I'm going to walk into a place and have to stand. The four inch heel is not doing it for me. <laughs> I'm gonna walk in and sit down. So I think these are very lovely and I will try to put in a picture of me styling these. There's just the different things that you can see that they can be worn with because of those colorful studs. And for um, Valentino right now, I am really large stud. So what I'm looking for is a pair of kitten heels that I can find in Valentino with that um, one large stud so that I can get those. Now, I don't like um, too much like their block heel because I've seen a lot of block heels in that. But um, just a couple of days ago, my cousin sent me a pair of mules that she found at Saks during the sale that has the one stud. Um, but I'm looking for one stud, but it, got, it doesn't need to be a block heel. It needs to be a, a, a small heel, a studded, I'm sorry, a stiletto type heel, um, not four inches, maybe three and a half, and then um, the one stud. So I'm looking for that. So Luck Shoppers, if you find something, send me an email, let me know you found a Valentino with the one stud with the right heel height that I'm looking for. And so just as a reminder, we are just like um, Simply Cura, I'm going to link her um, in the description box so you can go and look at her channel because she talks about fashion and she talks about being a fashion girl and the things that we're into. And so we are still into having the kitten heel. It is age appropriate for us that are mature, but it's also just good looking depending on how you style it. So I'm going to pop in some ways that I will style a kitten heel and just know uh, my mature women 
my luck shoppers, we are wearing kitten heels. In fact, Christian Louboutin is still making them. Until the next time, my luck shoppers, keep shopping.